I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, peoples? How you doing? Okay, it is a wonderful day, and we have a return guest today, and it's all about CBD. Let me go ahead and take a break and be right back. Don't you go anywhere. We got a few questions we're going to be answering today. So like I said today, we have a guest. It's rxmemoniesinc.com today, and we have Meredith back. Welcome to the show, girlfriend. How you doing? I'm doing so good. Thank you for having me again. Oh, anytime, anytime. So CBD oil. We talked about this the last time, and we also talked about the website. But let's go ahead and go into a few questions. And I did have a few questions last time, like, can, can this make you high? And you answered, you did really good on that one. <laughs> Because most people are like, I'm not doing marijuana. <laughs> right, right. But you're not. You're really not. So tell mm -hmm. me, you know, let's just kind of go over that and recap what we did the last time. And then let's get into these questions. Sure. So uh, I guess first and foremost, the uh, CBD does not get you high. Right. So we'll start there. So CBD is a cannabinoid that's produced by cannabis. It is non-psychoactive, meaning it causes no intoxication, no sensation of feeling stoned or high. Mm -hmm. uh, when people consume cannabis and they feel high, it's THC, which is the cannabinoid that, that is psychoactive, that mm -hmm. causes that sensation. So there are products that have CBD in it and also THC, and those products at high enough concentration of THC can make you feel high. But it mm -hmm. is not the CBD, it is the THC. So if you're looking at a product and it's high in THC, then you will likely feel high. If it's a very minimal amount of THC and predominantly CBD, you will not get high. Okay, I got it. I got it. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, this is so new. I mean, sure. to some people, they you're just kind of jumping into it and not understanding it fully. And so it's good to understand this. It's good to get the truth about it. And also the, the you know, this different types and the benefits and everything. So we're going to go into that today. We're going to go into the benefits of CBD. And I wanted to talk to you about that because I know that the, there are so many different benefits. Like me, I have my torn meniscus, but it's, it's pretty much it's not popping anymore it's healing. I can actually walk on my knee. The drainage has gone down. So there's so many different benefits to CBD oil. Um, what are some of the benefits that you can tell us about? Yeah. So uh, there are about 70 million people in the United States that have sleeping disorders. There are about 50 million that have chronic pain. There are about 40 million with anxiety dis disorders and inflammation causes a ton of different issues. Mm -hmm. So CBD is a powerful anti-inflammatory. It helps with uh, anxiety. It helps with pain. It helps with um, stress. And um, it also helps with inflammation. So, and it's not, most importantly, it's not a band-aid. So that's the thing that we're asked very often, right. you know, is this just, you know, making me feel like it's doing something, but it's not actually helping the issue. Right. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's an analgesic. It, 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 it helps with anxiety mm -hmm. um, it, and it helps people with these issues. And there's ton of, of medical documentation confirming this. Mm -hmm. I like the, the fact that you said this is not a Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it does help. And, you know, and OK, so OK, should I say this? OK, I'm going to just say it. You know, <laughs> when you when you're going through your 30s and your 40s as a female, you're going through perma-menopause mm -hmm. and everything hurts. Mm -hmm your knees hurt you know you get your elbow i have more tennis elbow now than i ever had in my life and i don't even think it's tennis elbow at this that i just realized that because of lower estrogen and progesterone your body inflames it's like it gets it becomes this like irritated it just it, it, it's inflamed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why why is that i don't know but the cbd oil and cbd products help with this time of life for women. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and inflammation in general. I mean, it's a, there's not any other medications out there. That, so I, I guess over-the-counter medications and prescription medications that are intended for pain and inflammation, mm -hmm. they're intended for short-term use. So you have opioids that are prescribed for short-term short -term use. And then you have things like aspirin and Advil and ibuprofen and things along those lines that are also intended for short-term use. There are no medications out there that are intended for long-term, so chronic pain. Mm 
Um, and CBD just ends up being a fantastic fit for that because it's not addictive, because it doesn't cause any um, side effects in the body. And we have receptors in the body that exist to accept this cannabinoid. Our body makes endocannabinoids. Hmm. Cannabis produces cannabinoids. Hmm. We have a system that accepts cannabinoids. So it, it's already there. It's it's already in motion. So we're just, cannabis is, is just basically filling a void uh, and, and helping with those inflammatory and pain issues. And it's funny that you mentioned premenopausal because we actually do offer products specifically for menopause relief and menstrual relief. Ooh, child, honey, yeah. we're gonna have to get with you. All right, because I mean, this hot flash thing and mm -hmm. these night sweat thingies and not being able to sleep and tennis elbow that really isn't tennis elbow and my knee and I can't run no more. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Just gonna but it's say, true. I mean, you, yeah, you're talking about these issues that a lot of people have, and you know, either it's an inflammatory issue or it's an issue with pain or anxiety or stress. And they don't have a long-term fix for that. They have things mm -hmm. that they can put on it or use that um, help with the symptoms or offer temporary relief, but there's nothing really out there that helps for long-term relief and helps resolve and fix the issue. So Wait, our products, we're not just using the CBD, we're yeah, using yeah. other terpene, uh, sorry, terpene profiles that we're creating. We're also adding additional plant compounds into our formulations. So, you know, we're if we're talking about menopausal products, we're not just including a CBD in there, a CBD um, oil in there. We also mm -hmm. have black cohosh, which has been shown to help with premenopausal um, pre symptoms and mm -hmm. other compounds as well. So, you know, it's it's what we're trying to do is not just create a CBD product. Us yeah. personally, we're trying to create a plant based medicine that is going to encompass uh, as many different plants as possible to help with that specific issue. Mm -hmm. Now I heard, now this is just me hearing this, this stuff, but I heard that men go through a kind of a similar kind of turn of life event where their body begins to inflame against themselves as well. Can this be, you know, for men or women? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, Women aren't the only ones that are having inflammatory issues as they get older. Men do as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, whether that just be joint pain or muscle pain or, you know, actually inflammatory issues within the body in other areas that aren't as obvious. Uh, CBD and being an anti-inflammatory, it's beneficial for any mammal, man, woman, dog, cat, horse. We have all sorts of different products mm -hmm. for all sorts of different people or animals. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. And this is long term. This is not a short term thing. Like you can use this indefinitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. I like the long term thing. I do too. I, it's, <laughs> it's, just, it's nice to have something that you can take that's going to help with the issue that you don't have to worry about it causing a problem for you down the road. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like that's exactly. a problem with a lot of pharmaceuticals, you know, that yes. it helps with this issue, but then you have to take another pill to help with the side effect of that one. And now you're taking another pill to help with the side effect of that one. I, yeah, I just no. have, it's like, I have this one problem. Can we work on that and not create six more problems? Hello, hello. <laughs> have you ever seen those commercials? And I hate to do this, but you ever seen those commercials where they come out with, you know, um, I'm just gonna, gonna put a fictitious name here, Heal mm -hmm. All. R and right. I was like, heal all of your things. They just da 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then when you get down to the the the, the really nitty gritty of it all, that mm -hmm. after the, the the disclaimer, I guess it is, may cause you a heart attack. If you have kidney failure, please do not use this. And it, I mean, it's like, it's like seventy five percent of the commercial <laughs> is someone just talking like an auctioneer rattling off yeah. all the side effects. You know, it's like, <laughs> you may go blind. <laughs> Right. It's like my elbow hurt. Why am I gonna go blind? <laughs> it's like you gotta be kidding. Okay, so if you want to grow hair, you might lose your hair. Right. Okay, exactly. And also have kidney failure. I hope that you didn't need that. Is that okay? You don't mind? I mean, you don't need your kidney. You're gonna have a full head of hair. Maybe we don't know. 
Oh my gosh. It's so ridiculous. I'm like, okay, I am not taking that. I'd just rather just like go out in a blaze of glory. Right. Than in a enough. blaze of this. This is not happening. It's not happening. Oh my gosh. So I'm so happy that this is like a long-term thing. Doesn't cause any side effects and you don't get high. Okay. We just we cleared all of that out. Correct. So okay, so we're gonna go into the second question, which is um, how different are your brands from other brands? Yeah, so our primary focus uh, and how I think our brand stands apart than the other CBD brands that are out there is we have a pharmacologist on staff. So our um, chief science officer is a board certified pharmacologist and toxicologist. And basically that means not only is he extremely familiar with plant-based medicine, but he knows how different plants come together and the synergistic effects by combining different plants. He knows the necessary concentration that those plants need to be at for medicinal benefit as well. Um, so it's not just plant medicine for him specifically, he's had about over 10 years of uh, experience in cannabis research. So he is a pharmacologist who has specialized in cannabis research for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you really can't find a better person to formulate your plant-based remedies than a pharmacologist. They have Definitely. a greater uh, education in medicinal science than any other doctor out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, our CEO is a, has a um, PhD in medicinal science. Uh, we, we really do focus on the medicinal component kind of, of CBD mm -hmm. and, and plants in general. So, you know, I, I, I at least think that ha is an added benefit that a lot of other companies don't have out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I think so too. You know, being that I am more on the natural side than anything, I really do. I, I buy all of my food as organic as possible. If it's not mm -hmm. organic, then it's got, it has to have the little, you know, non-GMO <laughs> sign on it sure. um, because I really don't want to put anything else into my body because the atmosphere has enough chemicals in it that I'm, I'm already fighting that. Mm -hmm. um, so CBD, having someone there that's going to actually, you know, look at it, see that it's going to be good for your body, make sure that you're getting the, the right, you know, this and the right that and the, and the best this and the best, that's going to be something that's, that definitely separates you from any, a lot of companies. Cause I, I find that a lot of companies really don't care about their clients. They just want the money. So I will say that there are some good guys out there that are doing mm -hmm. a good job. Um, I've yeah. seen some companies, so I don't want to be, I, I would hate to be one of the companies that are like, you know, we're the only ones that are doing it good. <laughs> um, that's just not true, right? There's a right. lot of companies out there that are doing it right, but there's also yeah. a lot of companies that aren't, right? So it, it's an unfortunate truth that when something, when a particular product is hot, people are just, you know, flooding the market with different products that include that, you know, compound or vitamin or supplement or whatever. It right. Might be. Uh, mm -hmm. And CBD is definitely within that, you know, realm, right? Yeah. Um, but for us personally, what has been the focus is just making sure that we have concentrated products because concentration affects absorption. If you don't have a concentrated product, your body is going to metabolize it faster, mm -hmm. too fast before it actually reaches the bloodstream, right? Right. So you need a concentrated product. You need to ensure it has a high concentration of terpenes because terpenes are also also have these medicinal properties. And when you mm -hmm. combine CBD with terpenes, um, they just have this amazing synergistic relationship. Uh, we're also including additional, as I mentioned, plant compounds in our formulations. We have vitamins, we have minerals. We're adding a, a variety of different active ingredients, all plant-based into our products to ensure the most effective plant-based product that we can make. Mm -hmm. And that's really how we're trying to set ourselves apart within the industry, mm -hmm. by not just making simply a CBD product. Right, right. I love that. I love that. You know, and, and you're right. There's a lot of companies out there that are doing it really, really well. Mm -hmm. and, and But, you know, I, I always tell people, look, do your research, okay? Totally. Do your research. You know, check these companies out. Make sure that what they're giving you is, you know, is something that you really want to put in your body. Unfort unfortunately, and fortunately, but unfortunately, we do have to do that now. But mm -hmm. fortunately, we have the option to do that. And there are just different, you know, people out there doing different reviews mm -hmm. and, and telling people all about their products. And, and like we're doing today, we're talking about the product. We're talking about the way it is. We're talking about the way it's formulated and how this benefits you long 
term, no side effects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So men and women and children and dogs and cats and any mammal. I mean, literally, I mean, all of you guys can be as healthy as you can possibly be in your entire household from your cat mouse. <laughs> I mean, if you have a pet mouse, it is a mammal. So if you're having a pet mouse that has some issues with uh, pain or inflammation or stress, I don't know how stressful a mouse's life gets, but who knows? Sure. He, he made a, his, his wheel may have broken down. I mean, oh. we just, you just don't know, you know, poor I'm, thing. I'm but anyway. Harvard. Yes, definitely, definitely. But I mean, you know, these are things that we can actually do for our entire family. I know that some people love dogs, some people love cats, some people love gerbils and whatever. So mm -hmm. if it's a mammal, mm -hmm. if it's a mammal, it can be done. Wow. If it's a mammal, it has an endocannabinoid system and it definitely, therefore definitely. can receive cannabinoids. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So we're going to also talk about what products do you highlight? So the, the products that we offer that I would like to highlight, I, I would say um, in particular the, right now is our gummies. So we recently came out with a broad spectrum gummy. And as I mentioned before, we only make concentrated products. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of companies out there that have gummies in 10 milligrams or 15 or up to 30. Our gummy is 50 milligrams per single piece. We include 30 milligrams per bag. So it's 1500 milligrams of CBD in the entire bag at $45, which is incredibly mm. competitive within the market. Right. In addition, all of our, our gummies are vegan. So they're made with pectin. Mm -hmm. um, they are naturally sweetened. They are naturally flavored. And we, uh, rather than rolling them in sugar, which most companies do to keep them from sticking, we lightly right. dust ours with arrowroot. So we're not including uh. extra into the product that doesn't need to be there. So that I, I that is our, our number one product right now. And gummies are pretty mm -hmm. popular within the market. But we also have multi-cannabinoid tinctures that include CBD, CBDA, CBN, and CBG. We have multi-cannabinoid tablets right now for pain, stress, and sleep. Um, we just recently came out with a horse product. So we have a ton of stuff out on our website available for, again, adults, uh, dogs, cats, um, horses. Uh, we can help. Wow. You know, the biggest the biggest thing I want to ask you, and I know a lot of people may be listening to this, you know, there's a lot of people with underlying conditions. So mm -hmm. you have lupus, um, di diabetes, high blood pressure. There's mm -hmm. all different kinds of things, cancer, um, and we can keep going. Um, is this safe for anyone or should someone with a particular, uh, you know, underlying condition be wary of this? So it's not necessarily the condition, but there are some medications that interact with CBD. And for those, uh, the, the quick answer for that is if your medication has a grapefruit warning on it, it could potentially also interact with CBD. So that's something you would definitely want to discuss with your physician. Um, we do have some more information about this on our website if someone wants to check that out. But uh, the quick answer is if you have a grapefruit warning on your medication, CBD could potentially interact with your medication. So definitely be aware of that. Okay. Um, it, it, as far as the conditions go, a lot of conditions will some oftentimes relate back to inflammation. So mm -hmm. if it's an inflammatory issue, a CBD can, again, be very helpful for that because it's mm -hmm. a very potent anti-inflammatory. Right. Okay. I got you. I got you. So if they have a grapefruit warning, please contact your doctor uh, and uh, make sure that you can take CBD because it might interact, but we're not really sure. It depends, I guess. It, it would depend on the medication, uh, but okay. if it has a grapefruit warning, that, that's a pretty good, um, the, because there's not a lot of research surrounding medications interacting with CBDs because this is still rather new to the industry mm -hmm. or to the market rather. So, but that's kind of like the, the quick answer. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's kind of cool to know. I mean, you know, see, grapefruit, you would, I would never put the two together like, oh, okay. So grapefruits, you know, don't, don't do CBD. It's like, what? <laughs> well, so the, there's the, there's science behind it, but I don't gotcha. want to be bored anyone. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, most people need to know the science behind it because they might be going through a, a, a condition that, you know, the, the label says, hey, you know, you can't have grapefruit or there's a grapefruit warning on there. They need to know because then, you know, definitely sure. we, we don't want to we don't want to cause another underlying condition. We want we don't want to be the all in medication. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So please check with your doctor just in case. So if you have a great free warning on your label for your medications, please check with your doctor before taking CBD. Okay. So just that. I mean, but wonderful. I mean, that's it. That's it. I, I think we covered all the highlights. I think so. I think so. But I'm just thinking like, you know, there's just so many different people out there that need some more information. Where can they go to maybe contact you guys to talk about this before they purchase anything? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's, I think there's like probably two columns of people. There's the people that like to do their own research. And then there's Mm -hmm. the people that want to talk to a person and kind of have their exact questions answered. Mm -hmm. So we do have some articles, uh, blog posts rather, available on our website that addresses a lot of the questions that were often asked for those individuals who want to do their own research. Mm -hmm. Um, We try not to make it too overwhelming because there is a ton of information out there about CBD. Some of it is conflicting, but we tried to get like a just kind of like the quick answers that people typically ask. Mm -hmm. For those who want more one-on-one time, we do offer free CBD consultations. So if um, generally I will answer the questions, I will walk the person through their issue and what they're trying, how they're trying to come at it. Mm -hmm. Um, I do also um, uh, discuss the issue with our chief science officer, if there are any medications that they're on, but generally uh, we're we can help you with whatever issue that you're having and and whatever information you're trying to kind of figure out regarding CBD and your issue. Right, right. We have information on our website and we do offer free consultations as well. Sweet. That's nice. That's good to know. You guys, hey, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And all of these questions and more, you, if you have any more, can be answered on rxremediesinc.com. Just go ahead and we'll have that link in the description box as well below. So you can just go ahead and click on that or copy and paste that into your browser. Click enter. It'll take you straight there. And there is some research, like she said, but you can also contact them and they'll be happy to help you out with any questions that you may have. I want to thank you so much, Meredith, for being on the show again today. It's been such a pleasure answering these questions and for the biggest part of it all I really do appreciate what you're doing it's such a big science behind this and it's so new but it's so vital and and most people don't realize how CBD oil and CBD really does help the people with underlying conditions get through the day I mean it's just it's hard sometimes but thank you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. Go to that website today. It's in the description box and click on it and check this out for yourself. I think I want, I want to, I think I want to talk to Meredith really quick. Let's see if we can get something going on here and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to dare to be different until next time. Bye. (laughs) Mm -hmm.